Oh, wait, this basket is empty. <laughs> I just used up my five minutes. <laughs> okay, we're going to start again. He is risen. He is Very good. That basket was empty. It really wasn't good for anything. I, I can, in fact, I want to talk to you about empty today. I have a few things in here. Empty is never usually a good word. Empty is kind of done and over and finished, and <clears throat> like cereal. When it's empty, there is no more. It's never a good feeling to take that off the shelf and find out that it's empty. Big Easter eggs, empty, no candy, all gone. Oh, wait a minute. When you open up your purse and there's no money inside because it's empty. Terrible, terrible feeling. Oh, and of course, this is my favorite one. If you have a balloon and it just, it's all... But then when it's empty, balloons are not any fun at all. Empty is just not good at all. So empty is not a word we... A rock. Did you know that a rock is called a rock when it's just on the ground? But when you use it for something, it's called a stone. Never knew that before. But this rock really is reminding me about a stone. Now, what does a stone have to do with empty? Aha, good question. Remember, last week, I asked you to talk to your moms and your dads all about Holy Week, because last week on Palm Sunday, we were so excited. Jesus was coming in, he was riding, and we were waving the palms, but during the week, things changed. The Pharisees, the heads of the church, told people Jesus was no good. He is a liar. We need to get rid of him. It was a terrible, terrible time. In fact, they got so mean, they said, crucify him. Crucify him. Hang him on a cross till he dies. They didn't know it was part of God's plan. They crucified him on the cross on Good Friday, and he died. And they put him in a cave, and when they put him in that cave, they called it a tomb. And the powers, the people who were in charge said, roll the huge stone in front of the opening so that nobody can steal his body and pretend that he rose from the dead. So they did that. But on Sunday morning, what did we just say? He has risen. He has risen indeed. That's what happened. Jesus rose from the dead. He took our sins all upon him, and he rose from the dead so that we too, when we believe in Jesus, will have life forever. So when you look at a rock on the ground, I want you to always remember the stone that was rolled away by the angels so that Jesus Christ could rise from the dead. When you look at that stone on the ground, that rock on the ground, it's a perfect time to say, guess what? Whoever's with you, did you know about Jesus and the stone that was rolled away? Boys and girls, can you fold your hands so they're not busy? Bow your heads and close your eyes and say, Dear Father in heaven, you have risen. You took my sins and died for them. But now you are alive. And in my believing, I too will live eternal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, boys and girls. Have a great week. <laughs>